So today on the channel, we're making a Texas favorite. Right, babe? That's right. Right. We are making smoked armadillo eggs outside on the world's smallest patio. The world's messiest patio. Um, the world's most hoarderous patio. A hoarderous patio? <laughs> on the pit barrel cooker today. We're gonna smoke it over cherry wood. We're gonna be using the pit barrel cooker. It's gonna be amazing. And what is a smoked armadillo egg bake? Well, they look pretty darn delicious. So, oh, yeah. it's a jalapeno mm. with various cheeses shoved mm, in it. Various cheeses. Wrapped in sausage. Sausage! And then wrapped in bacon. Bacon! And, and then basted it with barbecue sauce. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be epic. All right, follow along, super simple video recipe, gel devil charcoal, the pit barrel cooker, Uncle Steve's shake, it's gonna be amazing. And here we go. go. Here are the ingredients you need for armadillo eggs. We start with jalapenos. However many eggs you want to make is however many jalapenos you need to get. And we're making... We're making six. Six eggs today. That's correct. Sausage. You can use any kind of sausage you want. We suggest breakfast style sausage. Pork sausage. Bacon. Cheddar cheese. Which you're going to shred. Shredded. Mm -hmm. Cream cheese, whipped or not. And whatever spices you like. We're using Uncle Steve's South Texas Red. Along with a little bit of the sweet heat from Daddy Dutch Barbecue. This is very, very spicy. So we're only going to put a little bit in. We thought that would be a good little mix. Lastly, but not leastly, we're going to baste it with this Rustlin Rob's Texas Gourmet Peach Barbecue Sauce. Okay, guys. Let's get it started. Okay, so we're going to start with by making our cheese mixture. And this is eight ounces of cream cheese. I don't really know how much cream cheese we need to use, babe, because we're only doing six, right? Well, you know what? If you have leftovers, you can add some bacon to it and um, some jalapenos, and then you can just make a dip. Maybe add a little ranch. Make a dip. I'm going to add our cheese. And I didn't shred up the entire block. I shredded about half of it. And that was a 12 ounce block. Okay, we're gonna put some of our South Red Texas. The what, babe? Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna put some of the South Red Texas Uncle Steve's shake in there. And a tiny bit of sweet heat because this is misleading by having the word sweet in there. You think it's gonna be sweet. It's a lot Kinda of Kinda like heat. Kent is, he's misleading. <laughs> you think he's gonna be sweet, but then he's heat. <laughs> Kinda like you, babe. Yeah. He probably named it after you. So we'll get that all mixed up and set that aside. So we're gonna start by de-seeding the jalapenos. You need to cut the head off. <laughs> yeah, babe, cut the head off the beast. Sometimes I like to get crazy with these jalapenos when I'm frustrated with you. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. All right. The best way that I can um, describe to de-seed these, and I'll do it right here under the camera. Can you see that? Yep. If you don't have a de-seeder, I take a butter knife and I stick it in there and I just start turning. Make my way all the way down. And that gets most of your stuff out. And then you want to give it a little rinse. Or you don't have to. See? You see it? Okay. That gets your membrane and your seeds out. So I'm going to do that with all six of these. Okay, so next we're going to stuff our jalapenos with our cheese mixture. So they're all cleaned out in there. And you just take a spoon. The cheese mixture has kind of, oops, the cheese mixture has kind of settled. And we're just going to shove it down in there until it's all full. The more you stuff, the more cheesy goodness it's going to be, babe. Yeah, that's true. And I was thinking about it, so I put a little bit of extra cheddar in there because I wanted it to be really ooey-gooey. All right, that looks good. So I'm going to do all six of these and see you back here in a minute. Guys, so next up, we're going to take our pork sausage and we're going to wrap these babies up. We have them nice and full. These are going to be delicious. So we want to take a little piece. We want to flatten it out pretty thin. You don't want it to be too thick. Kind of like you're making a sausage patty. And then we're going to put our pino in there. Our pino. Our pino. And we're going to start to wrap it until we get it all the way covered. 
You're making a little baby egg. Mm-hmm. A little baby egg. A little baby armadillo egg. So there you go. <laughs> okay, babe. <laughs> so let's set that down, and then we're going to wrap it with our bacon. And this is where the use of toothpicks comes in. And this is where the toothpicks come in. That's correct. Better grab a couple of these. Go one there. Oh, that's thick bacon, babe. It's very, very thick bacon. Let's go right about here. Babe, I think we have a catastrophe on our hands. Yes, I think we do too. I don't think we have enough sausage. What are we going to do about that? We might have to just make some good old-fashioned jalapeno poppers. I don't know. And you're saving all the armadillo eggs just for me? <laughs> yeah. Look at that thing. Now that's a meat bomb if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I think we can probably get three or four. That's good. Yeah. We only got four out of the amount of sausage that we had. I don't know if I did a little too much or if we just didn't have enough, but we used one pound of sausage that covered four jalapenos. I used a whole pound of bacon. We ended up with two jalapeno poppers, four armadillo eggs. I'm gonna put my Uncle Steve's shake over the top. We're gonna to go out, put them on the pit barrel that runs at 275 for about two, two and a half hours. We're going full Texas on this cook. That looks like a science experiment, babe. Kind of. <laughs> kind of does. I bet it won't taste like one. You ready to go outside on the pit barrel, babe? All right, so we're out here on the world's smallest, messiest patio. And like I said earlier, we're going to be using the pit barrel cooker today. And when you light your pit barrel cooker, of course, we're using Jealous Devil Max Briquette Charcoal, the best charcoal in the world. And when you light your pit barrel cooker, it's really important to follow the directions exactly from pit barrel on exactly how to light it and keep the rods in and do exactly what they say. And it will always run at 275. It's a set it and forget it cooker. I love it. Greatest company on earth. So with all this messy jealous devil that we have over here and the pit barrel cooker, these armadillo eggs are going to be amazing. Okay, babe. Are you ready to do this? Ooh, I'm ready. Now the poppers will probably cook a little quicker. Do you like all the construction noise going on outside? Looks great, babe. So we got to put our rods back in. The rods. What are they, drilling oil over there? My goodness. Okay, so we've got them on the pit barrel. We'll come back and check on them in about an hour. Oh, bo oh those are looking delicious. All right, let's flip these babies. You think your little individual poppers are almost done? Those are looking pretty good. Those look like they're done. But we're probably gonna run the eggs another hour. Right, babe? Correct. Okay, we'll see you back in one more hour. So the last 15 minutes, the armadillo eggs are done. We're gonna baste them with our peach barbecue sauce from Texas. Delicious. Fredericksburg. Yes, it'll add a little sweet, and I think it's going to turn out fantastic. Okay, let's go do that. It's been just over two hours. So, they're looking very tasty. I like the crispy bacon. Yeah, I think it's going to crisp up really nice. If the construction outside... Very loud construction. Do they not know we're filming a YouTube video? <laughs> yeah, babe. Jeez. Yeah. If they were quiet, maybe we'd feed them. Oh, yeah, these are looking real good. Okay, babe, the time has come. Let's cut this baby open and see what happens. Oh, looky there. 
And that looks like deliciousness. What does the other side look like, babe? Let's see it. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that oozy cheese. That oozy boozy. Babe, I can smell it. I smell the barbecue sauce, the smoky flavor. I smell the jalapeno. There's a lot going on here. But first, babe, we have to roll our top tier channel members. And if it's not for you guys, we wouldn't be able to do our little YouTube hobby. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our channel members. We appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. You okay. make things like armadillo eggs possible. possible. Oh yeah. Just okay, like babe. I mean, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot going on here. Okay, you ready? The smokering on the sausage is very good. Yeah. Okay. I do notice that the cheese is not as strong as I thought it would be. I thought it was going to come. And we really out. packed it in there. Yeah. Okay, babe. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Let me show the folks. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh. Well, that's good. Taste your bacon. Mm-hmm. The bacon The sausage? the sausage is sweet? The sausage The sausage sweet. is sweet because mm -hmm. it's like a breakfast sausage, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. The sausage is definitely a good addition. I like it. I do, too. I wish there was a little With bit more With the barbecue sauce. Lasted. I wish there was a little bit more cheese. Yeah. I'm surprised because we packed those jalapenos. Like one of them cracked that we pushed so hard yeah. packing them in there. Mm -hmm. But wow, this is really. These are really good. This though. is really something. Come on, little camera. You can do it. You can. I guess you can't do it. Hmm? Oh, there it goes. Because <laughs> it focuses on my beauty. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm -hmm. They're really good. That's a little treat. Very feeling. It's a good keto bomb. That's a bomb. Yeah. Mm. It's very good. All right, guys. Wow. Enjoy it. Make these. Make oh, it. Not yeah. that hard. No, it was super easy. And fun. And fun. Yeah. yeah. All right. I agree. Thanks, We guys. will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Happy summer. Bye. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>